Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message. Let's see what the message is for you guys today. <laughs> now it is a general message. It's not a personal reading. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those. Thank you to those who donate to the channel. Thank you to those who subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So let's go ahead and see what the energy is like today for you Virgos. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Virgo today? Give me six cards. Depending on the message, I'll decide if I want to use any oracle cards. I'm just kind of doing an energy check. So what do we have for Virgo? First card out is... Ooh, not the Nine of Swords, Virgo. All right. Ooh, with the... Okay, so it's even... Now, take it out. It resonates, okay? This is either your energy or this is somebody else's. But we have the Nine of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. There could be someone here who is in having some kind of anxiety, stress and worry. Maybe because this is someone that wants to work with you. Um, Nine of Cups, someone who sees you as a wish fulfillment. Or there's someone that sees you happy building something and it causes them worry. Where's the Nine of Swords? Show me more for Virgo. The chariot, maybe somebody that you are moving away from. But this is an energy of being divinely guided. This is also cancer energy. Show me more. Three of Wands. The Magician. Okay, King of Swords. What is the Three of Wands? For my Virgo, thank you, Spirit. Very talkative today, these cards. Look at that, the Ten of Pentacles wanting to turn over. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Wheel of Fortune, Ooh, and the King of Wands, and the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Star, Seven of Swords. Lots going on, lots going on, Virgos, and a lot of this is past energy, right, um, with that Six of Cups bang in the middle here. But it looks like for some of you, yes, there may have been some kind of deception here with the Seven of Swords, right? But it looks like you've healed from that, and that's good. We're moving forward. We're not concentrating too much on the past anymore, even though it keeps coming up in your general energy here. The Ace of Cups, you learn to love yourself. But this is also an energy of some of you are very much healers here, where you heal other people. It's almost like this Ace of Cups, you spread love around, is what I'm hearing for some of you. Now, there is somebody here. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with this King of Wands, or it could be an earth sign. With this King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could even be an air sign with that King of Swords here. Whoever, right? Someone here may be having some kind of regrets. They may be stuck in an energy of nostalgia with the Six of Cups. Something here is too heavy or was a burden. It's almost like someone had to drop something. But it could also be telling me here, Virgos, that maybe someone or more than one person that you have ended things with because, like I said, the situation was burdensome. They may be trying to come back around the mountain here with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, what I can see for some of my Virgos with this Three of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles is a message that I've been getting for a little while, right? There is something coming in here for you guys. Something big. Something stable. Yes, it could be finances. And no, it's not going to be for everyone. Use your discernment, guys. But there's definitely something on the horizon for a Virgo here. Give me one more round. What is the Knight of Swords and the Magician? Now, with the Magician being out here, this could tell me that, hey, maybe someone tried to manipulate a situation in whichever, whichever way, right? Because manipulation and magic is not just by people trying to do spells. 
Manipulation can talk about somebody saying certain things to try and get into your head. So you react a certain way. So they get a certain outcome. What is the Nine of Swords and the Magician? Gemini and Virgo energy. Heavy Gemini with the Nine of Swords and the Magician. What is the Nine of Swords and the Magician? Thank you. For my Virgos. The Tower. Yeah. Do you know what I just heard? I heard it ain't going to rain no more, no more. It ain't going to rain no more. This is someone having some kind of epiphany. Now, with the magician and the tower, it could even be an energy of, hey, if somebody did try to do something to you, maybe it was returned. Maybe somebody else is having a tower moment. Or maybe this is what they wanted for you, Virgos. Aries and Scorpio energy there. What is a chariot and the king of swords? Chariot and the King of Swords for my Virgos. What's the energy? Thank you. Mm, the Ace of Pentacles. What's the... Oh, the Three of Swords. <laughs> What's the Ace of Pentacles? Why is that here? The Deaf and the Hanged Man. Now, the hangman does talk about an energy of somebody taking a temporary pause to look at something from a different perspective. It's almost like turning the other side of the coin. But it is also feeling stuck, right? The death card. It can talk about an ending. It's Scorpio energy. We also have Pisces. But the death card can talk about a transformation. So Virgos, I don't know if there's an air sign here that maybe wants to offer you something. But this situation is over, dead, done. Now I could see another way for some of you. Again, use your discernment. Someone here maybe wanted to... I don't know, maybe have you stuck, wanted some kind of an opportunity to come to an end for you. One more time, what is this Ace of Pentacles with this King of Swords? For the collective, thank you, Spirit. The Page of Wands. Now, it could also be that, hey, someone here sees you as good news. Maybe somebody wants to communicate with you. All right, what is this Three of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles for the sign of Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Hermit. So definitely for some of my Virgos, this is coming in here. And the Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords? What is the Five of Swords? Thank you, Spirit. The Emperor. So for some of you, what I am seeing here that there may have been some kind of deception around money. Yeah, especially with the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if there were some lies here that was told. I am hearing the word inheritance. Maybe there was someone here who was being very controlling or wanted to control a situation. We have Aries and Taurus energy here with the Emperor. But Virgos, I don't know if you're going to find this news out or you already know with the hermit out here. Maybe you have an inkling for some of you. Knight of Four of Swords and the Sun card. Yeah, for some of you, there may have been a delay here, right? Someone may not have wanted you to see something, may not have wanted you to see the truth in a situation here. Yeah, look at that, the moon. There could be another air sign involved here. Queen of Swords. I feel like for some of you, something's going to be revealed or something here is going to be healed even after a delay. Okay. So give me some, let's end this reading for Virgos. What's the advice here? Let's get some advice from the angels. I haven't used Mother Mary for a while. Mother Mary, what do you have for Virgo? What can you tell them about this message? 
Okay, tell my Virgos about this message. Okay. For some of you, this could have something to do with children because the femininity card just turned up. I can't stand that card. <laughs> Only because of the word, it has like my tongue is like I'm gonna eat my tongue or something. <laughs> Femininity. <laughs> um, but it, it kind of reminds me of the Empress. So, like I said, for some of you, this could have something to do with a child. And we do have the page of wands out here. So show me. Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you. So Mother Mary has mercy. Hmm. Do you know what I heard? Who sings that? Oh, I'm going to just embarrass myself now. I heard, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Okay, it says, I am kind and thoughtful towards myself and others. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like you have. But I don't know who, what energies or who you guys are dealing with here. I just feel like these are people that maybe didn't give you back the same energy here. Hence why we have the tower, right? All right, let's get an angel card. What is the message here for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. You have go with the flow. One from the Moonology. What's the advice here for my Virgos? <laughs> that Ten of Pentacles and Three of Wands. Believe in the impossible. Or maybe this is a message for someone else to believe in the impossible. Maybe you are doing something, my Virgos. Look at that. I expect powerful change. And last but not least, Archangel Michael. How do you want to end this reading for the sign of Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. And even this Three of Wands with this Ten of Pentacles is giving me the energy here of, do you know what? Some of you may even own your own business, right? You may be a boss here. But it's giving me the energy with this five of swords that someone may be in the energy of, you know, whatever they did here in the past. Maybe it was fun at the time, but maybe later on down the line, especially if someone is watching you receive this ten of pentacles here or build some kind of legacy. Right. Or something that's going to be very long term. It's almost like financial stability. Someone may be thinking that wasn't such a wise choice to do that to Virgo. So the card we have, all right, sorry, I'm Kendra Michael, give me another card. My Virgos, how do you want to end this reading? All right. So we have the number 17, which boils down to an eight, and this is the one that turned over before, which is also a number eight here. It says it's time to play. It says, you're working too hard and worrying about everything. It says, seek out joyous experiences and bring balance into your life. And then you have deeper insights are at hand. Now, for some of you, this definitely could be you receiving downloads. See how the hermit's looking at the bird? And she's looking out to the horizon. But this is also giving me the energy here that someone has made a decision. She's only holding on to one one. Someone here has made a decision to, it almost feels like go on a brand new journey or do something new. So maybe you've already started something new that is going to be definitely um, financially beneficial for you. It says, your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. Now, it could be these people that may want to come towards you here, right? That is now maybe seeing the bigger picture. Just take it how it resonates, guys. But that is what I have for you today, Virgos. Very short and sweet. So if this is where we part, Virgos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me or subscribe to the channel. But if this is where we part, do stay safe. Love and light, guys.